Um, today we're going to talk a little bit about masonry and as you may have guessed from the introduction that Maria gave you, I do spend a fair amount of time working with masonry and also helping others with masonry. I'm able to do some work sharing my experiences, knowledge, and things that I've learned from a lot of people around me with other engineers and sometimes that's looking at ways to optimize building by using masonry as structure and envelope and other times it's looking at optimizing detailing and design within a masonry building. And that's kind of what we're going to talk about today. If we have a masonry building, what are the advantages that we can see if we use masonry lintels as opposed to steel lintels or some other materials? So that's our goal today is to uh, kind of look through that and talk about masonry lintel design and detailing. This is a copyrighted presentation, but you do have access to the PDF through the website. So you're welcome to download that, use it for personal use if you uh, spend some time looking through there at some point in the future and you have more questions you do have my information and I'd be happy to follow up with you if you have questions about the content or the the content spurs you to think about another point that I always like to talk about is I'm giving you what I believe is good and correct information code compliant information um, but you as designers engineers architects possibly uh, it's up to you that to then take this information and apply it appropriately to your projects so we do have a short outline today. Uh, first and foremost, I hope that by the time we're done, you'll have gained some pretty good insight into masonry lintel detailing and uh, the detailing performance benefits that you can see when you work with a masonry lintel. Second thing would be looking at the structural side of things and the performance benefits that come about by using masonry lintels in a masonry building. I will then uh, spend some time and hopefully illustrate for you a couple different structural design approaches. And in the end, hopefully you'll see that there are overall building improvements that can be had uh, by using masonry lintels in a masonry building. So with that, I'll kind of jump right into uh, detailing performance benefits. And this is going to uh, lead us through a few different ways that masonry lintels really help clean things up uh, in terms of construction and even just, you know, detailing. I used to have uh, one of my former bosses uh, was a engineer that I learned a lot from and he used to talk about the fact that if something's easy to draw it's easy to build and therefore it's probably going to perform predictably and uh, perform well for you in the field and I think this is one of those cases where that really rings true. Masonry lintels are pretty clean to design and detail and therefore uh, they're going to perform the way you think uh, that they will with very little side effects or other things to think about. Um, I do work uh, delegated design work, specialty design work for a number of larger mason contractors and I started getting calls about a year, year and a half ago on several projects where they were facing delays on their projects because they would get up to lintel bearing, beam bearing and they would end up being uh, held up while they waited for steel beams and lintels to arrive and so they would actually hire me with the contractor's approval to redesign lintels into masonry lintels so they could get back to work and as a result of that and seeing steel lintels in a lot of masonry building uh, construction documents, we decided this would be a really good thing to talk about. So in general, <clears throat> it can take you six to eight weeks to get steel lintels uh, detailed, reviewed, and fabricated. And sometimes it can take even as long as 12 weeks and even a little bit longer. If we're able to look at masonry lintels in a masonry building, we can take care of that delay along with eliminating things like differential movement, reducing um, thermal bridging, dealing with a little better and cleaner detailing, and it also helps us with things like control joint placement, and um, one of the things I'll talk about later is we do also have some options for wide cavities, even with large openings. Uh, that's a little bit of a stumbling block for people working with masonry lintel, so I'll try and give you some tools that you'll have to address that situation if you are going to be uh, detailing buildings with larger openings and wide cavities. All right, so let's talk a little bit more about this. Just to emphasize, steel lintels, if you can pre-order them, you're going to be doing really well. But if you can't pre-order them, you may be facing delays on construction projects. And like I said, it could be six to eight weeks. And in cases, we're seeing a lot of uh, galvanized lintels in perimeter walls. And that's a really good idea if you're going to put steel out there and it's going to be exposed or partially exposed to weather. You certainly would get better performance and longevity out of that and you won't have to deal with rust jacking and other things that can happen from an unprotected uh, piece of steel in your wall. But if you have that galvanization, you're not only waiting for detail 
doing review and fabrication, now you're adding galvanization into the process. And if you have a large assembly that's going to be galvanized, you may be faced with only one or two uh, galvanizers in your region that can handle that. And all of a sudden, you're now subject to what their schedule is. And so that's where we start to see these 12-week and longer delays. So just be aware of that. That's a pretty significant issue. And time is money on a construction project. So beyond all other things, that delay was really a driving factor for what we're going to be talking about today. But I hope you'll see a lot of other benefits as we go through it. So let's just start out with a couple uh, details here side by side. And we'll talk about those. On the uh, right hand on the right hand side, we will have uh, kind of where we're starting the steel lintel. And you'll notice a lot of things going on in the steel lintel. With the steel lintel, we have generally a desire to cover that up and make it look like the masonry. This would be a single-wife wall, but it would be very similar if you're putting this beam in a multi-wife cavity wall. 